Democratic Congressman Adam Schiff, ranking member of the House Permanent Select Committee on Intelligence. Congressman, what a pleasure to see you. Thank you. Good to see you. First, let me ask you about this news from the House Speaker this morning. What do you know about that right now, and what do you think? Well, I think it's good news if they're really going to take up the Senate bill, and I think that they're going to have to. This is a movie we've seen the ending before. Uh, the Speaker feels it necessary to placate uh, the Tea Party base by offering them a number of votes on other things, short-term CRs, shutdowns, uh, and then finally has to capitulate because we simply can't take the risk of shutting down the Department of Homeland Security when we face so many threats. So I think it's real. I think we are going to have a vote on a Senate bill, and I think it will pass with strong bipartisan support. Yeah, as a matter of fact, the speaker was outlining earlier today uh, the uh, three options for the week. One is a DHS shutdown, the other one is a CR, and then the other one is this Senate bill. It seems as though another CR for, for seven days isn't very probable, but does the speaker have the support that he's going to need by Republicans to get this passed in the House? I think he does. If the Speaker is willing to take up the clean Senate bill, uh, it will pass, and I think there will be a substantial number of Republican votes. Uh, so I think that's where we're headed. Uh, if you put it off for another seven days, we're just going to be right back where we are seven days from now, because we could see this coming for months. Uh, so it's not as if something is going to change. The reality is we just have to fund this department. We ought to take it up and fight the immigration fight, uh, which I think is a wrong-headed fight on the GOP part, uh, separately and not in the context of preventing the Department of Homeland Security from protecting the country. And, Congressman, as we see officials heading into the area to be in place to listen to the Prime Minister of Israel's speech, let's talk about that. Uh, his address to this joint meeting of Congress, uh, you're attending, right? But you said you've had some serious reservations. Yes, I am attending. I'll be going there in just a minute. Uh, I do have serious reservations. I don't think the invitation should have been extended during the middle of the Israeli elections, and it certainly shouldn't have been done without the consultation with the White House. This was a deliberate poke in the eye of the president by the speaker, and I put the responsibility on the speaker's shoulders. There's nothing that forced him to do this. I think he thought it would be a, a good political gambit, and, and unfortunately, I think it's placed unnecessary, unnecessary strain on the U.S.-Israel relationship. Now, how big of a deal is, is it for Israel that these negotiations are occurring as we speak between the United States and Iran? I mean, how concerned are they? And, and what do you think this uh, speech today is going to have as far as an impact on what's happening there? You know, there's a lot of concern in Israel, as there is in the United States, about Iran's nuclear program, and clearly we have to prevent Iran from getting the bomb. Uh, there is a division of opinion, certainly within Israel, uh, as well as within the United States. And the U.S. and Israel about the best way to do this. Uh, I'm frankly still very skeptical, Jose, that there's going to be a deal because I don't think the mullahs are prepared to make the kind of uh, commitments that they would have to make and make the kind of concessions they'd have to make uh, to reach an agreement. Uh, but we'll find out soon enough. We've set this deadline at the end of the month uh, to see whether there's a framework in place, uh, and uh, we'll see uh, very shortly. And do you think if they do get to a deal, it should be uh, part of the Congress's responsibility to take a look at it? Oh, absolutely. And the Congress will weigh in one way or, the, uh, one way or another. We will have our say in this. Um, so uh, that's going to happen. It's uh, an issue of just seminal importance to both countries. Uh, and we'll see what they come up with. I'm not going to prejudge it. I want to see what the terms are if, indeed, there's an agreement that's been reached. Uh, and, uh, uh, and the proof will be in the pudding. Congressman Schiff, always a pleasure to see you. Thanks for being with me this morning. Thanks, Jose.